that was really weird that I got picked because everything inside me said that I didn't want to get up here. And then at the last second, I raised my hand and you picked me, which was really strange. <laughs> you are the one exception to the laws of the universe. <laughs> so I was talking to my friend about this. Like, I find it really amazing that people are like very specific when they come up here about like whatever issue they want to work on. I don't really even know where to begin, you know, because I feel like there's like a lot. But I will say that there's like been this just like theme throughout my life, a consistent theme of just like, I want to just say like unhappiness, you know, of just like a darkness. The thing about trying to figure it all out, like even a theme for my life, or I don't know where I could begin, is that the whole idea of sorting it out or unraveling it, figuring it out, it feels overwhelming mm -hmm. but we're going to give you something really easy and comfortable and important and that is we really like the word the theme of my life because what you're saying is my habits of thought my vibrational patterns mm -hmm. the nice thing is is that whatever pattern you've got going on is what's reflecting in this and this and this and this and this our friend earlier was talking about he has highs and lows, wanted things and unwanted things. And that's because he, like everyone, thinks about things wanted and not wanted. In other words, your thoughts are turning to things. And so you don't have to remember every thought you ever thought or even justify why you were thinking the thoughts you were thinking or explain how you came to feel this way by explaining who your parents were, what life was like or any of that. That is overwhelming. All you have to know is right here, right now, Everything's responding to the vibration that you're offering and you can do something about that if you want to mm -hmm. So the reason that we like to explain it to you the way we do that you have an inner being who knows everything that you want and is standing as the larger part of you in utter happiness is because we want you to know that that happiness is being projected to you flowed to you but that you've got to meet it and the interesting thing, this is such a good thing for you to know. You can't be unhappy unless you've put so much in your vortex and you have an extraordinarily happy inner being because it's the variation that is equaling the emotion that you feel. In other words, if somebody you didn't even know called you on the telephone and said, hello, you don't know me. I'm just calling to tell you I will never call you again. <laughs> you would say, Okay, thanks. Good to know. <laughs> but if someone you really care about said, you'll never see me or hear from me again, you would feel strong negative emotion. Mm -hmm. So what we're saying is your negative emotion is proportionate to your positive emotion. And so if you have what you are calling sort of steady year after year, decade after decade unhappiness, what that means is you've been living life and putting a lot in your vortex and there's a lot going on in there. And it means that your inner being is projecting to you a strong, good feeling signal that you are denying through your day to day experiences. And we don't care about what happened long time ago. It's like what happened lately. Your life is not made up of these big, big events. It's made up of moment to moment events and your response to them. It's interesting because Esther was just thinking about this very thing as she was behind the curtain just now waiting for the chime. So she left as you did to go up to her sleeping room and they've given her a route. They let her put some little arrows up to lead her through the back way because she really doesn't want to run into you. <laughs> and the reason that she doesn't want to run into you is because she doesn't want to get out of her Abraham vibration. She doesn't have a conversation with you about what you've got going on or whatever, whatever, whatever. And so she's sort of hiding from you, not because she doesn't love you, but because she does love you. She just wants to give you the best receptive mode that she can give you. And so the hotel staff knows they don't approach her. They don't talk to her. In other words, she just sort of slips through and everyone kind of smiles and she goes up to her bathroom and then comes back down. So just now when she went out, there was someone there, one of you with a dog. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. We're not after you. We just want to explain. So Esther's surprised to see someone. And then there's the whole dog thing. In other words, thank you for all not bringing your dog is what Esther wants to say. Just because 
Can you imagine what that would be like? So she's sort of got that drum that she's been beating for a while. So she was a little flustered by it and went through the kitchen, as did the dog, up to her sleeping room and then was feeling unsteady about it, uneven about it. In other words, it stirred up stuff that she hasn't got resolved. Things about agreements and crowd management and laws and rules and all that stuff. And then she remembered our conversation just now with a friend just step away from it just step away from it if it's a condition that you can't solve and it's disruptive to your vibration then just step away from it so she thought oh that's easy I don't even have to think about this right now there isn't a new policy that I have to set can't really there isn't a condition that I have to change can't really nobody was doing anything wrong there was no wrongdoing done at all nobody did anything wrong I'm just for whatever reason not feeling good step away from it because I can't change it enough to make the feeling be different you see what we're getting at and now she's finding it humorous because she realizes that through life it's easy to make big deals out of things that you don't need to make big deals about because you've been carrying that along with you for a while in other words it's a belief system that you've been bringing with you that is in the way of what you really want and what you really want and only thing that you really really want is to be happy which is the first thing that you start with here you want to be happy and Esther does too but she can let something that inconsequential ruffle her feathers uh-uh not anymore sure you're gonna take the hit because you gotta bounce up against the beliefs that you've got going on in other words you can't pretend that you don't have a vibration going on if there's a vibration within you it will activate if something about something that you have considered and worked on and worried about comes into your experience it will activate but once you remind yourself that you want to be happy and that you can back away from that and you want to be happy and you can back away from that as you meet it situation after situation and that's your response to it this is a condition that I don't need to and cannot control and if my happiness depends upon the controlling of things that are really not any of my business not really what others do is not my business how I feel about it is but what others do is not my business then you have the potential of being a consistently really happy person mm -hmm. we think what gets in the way of so much happiness is so much reality so much interfacing with others who are feeling about things differently than you are or even feeling differently about you than you would like them to in other words there's a lot of people that make you their business parents make their children their business when they have no business making children their business and that feels odd to some of you parents because you think that your children are your business well they are certainly something someone that you care about but the less you try to control them the more you allow them the receptive mode the more you will recognize their ability to control their own experience mm -hmm. helpful sure yeah like I understand what you're saying intelligently and like I've, you know I've done various different types let of let us work. just say one thing softly sure if you'll just and then we want to hear from you if you will just say to yourself it's only what happened lately that I even need to think about because the stuff that happened you keep regurgitating it and you keep changing it and you keep amplifying it and you keep dramatizing it Esther doesn't have to think of anything that happened before she met the dog in the elevator right and not even that I'm staying in the present. stay present because it's gonna keep coming you're gonna keep getting reflections of what your vibration is and don't you want that that's like having a navigational system that lets you know where you are in relationship to where you want to be don't you want that and so a negative emotion isn't a bad thing it's guidance just like positive emotion is sure. guidance we'll hear you we just really want to help you know that it's just what happened lately that's all you got to think about yeah no I mean I totally understand I'm the just... most recent thing that happened to you is that we began with a very clear desire to offer value to everyone and scan the room and you light it up because you have a clear desire and you were more in the receptive mode than you usually are you weren't all the way in the receptive mode but you were so much more in the receptive mode than you usually are and with your powerful desire you light it up that's the most recent thing that happened to you hmm. <laughs> yeah and being aligned like that is the most amazing feeling ever and I guess I'm trying to like 
figure out how to get more of that. Just yeah. one little thing at a time, just by not letting insignificant things bother you and not focusing on them long enough to let them get so, any momentum. So that's just where I feel the most alive. So I guess I'm just like chasing that. Well, know? it's because your vibrations where you last left it. Where you feel most alive is in that receptive mode. Of course, of course, of, of being course. aligned. In you that. were born to be out here on the leading edge. You were born to turn these vibrations to thoughts and these thoughts to things. Right. That's who you are and that's why you're here. And so, of course, that's what feels the best to you. Mm -hmm. That's what's most natural. But sure. it's also pretty humanly natural to observe stuff around you and to have responses to it. And that's the thing that we want you to not let overwhelm you. Just take your responses one at a time and talk the negative emotion down by stepping back from it as quickly as you can. Sure. Yeah. yeah.